So welcome back guys to another video on Kids Coding Playground. Today we'll be doing a two player ping pong game. So the objective of the game is to keep on hitting the ball back and forth and you try not to let your opponent hit it back and when the ball touches this edge or this edge then you get a point. So you have the, this point and this side's point. And, when that, uh, and then the first player to get seven points will win the game. So let's go. We will be learning these following concepts today. Variables, loops, broadcasting messages, sensing, collision, which is like uh, sensing blocks, and pick random. So I will be showing you guys the game. I have my brother here with me hey. to show us the game. So let me make it bigger. So you want to be arrow keys? Or sure, I'll be arrow keys. First to seven points. And I even added some music. And, uh, let's go. So you just keep on. Oh no, you let it go in. So I'm just gonna uh, let myself lose or something. I wanna, um. I want to demonstrate what happens when you uh, lose. So when the ball, when when the other person gets seven points on you, then that means you will get a. Uh, you'll say the other play, either if the player if it's the player one that wins, they'll say player one wins. So this side is player one. This side is player two. Hit it back. Hit it back. Yeah, I'm not, I'm just not gonna hit it back. Okay, one more point, and then I'll show you guys how to make a game. Okay, so we'll say player two wins, which mm -hmm. is this team. So I'll be making a new project so I can show you guys step by step how to make it. So <clears throat> let's make a new project. So let's make two variables in the beginning. We will need a variable called player one score. One score. And another variable called player two score. Player two score. So you have the two variables. Um, we won't. We don't need this, so you can just delete it. The my variable. You don't need that. Delete the scratch count. We won't need that as well. And you can double click on this to make it like that. And. Next, we'll be doing the backdrop. So for the backdrop, I'm going to put some code for it. So this is the color I did um, for my last backdrop. 39 color, 100% saturation, and 40 brightness. So get this color. And then we need no outline. So we're going to get the box thing uh, and just draw a square. Like so. There you go. So I got the square. Center. So this is the backdrop. Um, and next we're gonna get some music, I guess. Uh, let's go get a song. You guys can pick any song you guys want. I'm just gonna pick the song I used. This one. So just get a one flag clicked. Forever loop. Uh, play the sound until done. That's it. And we will need two paddles. So there's a paddle sprite. Just take two of those. Just make one and then duplicate it. And go into the sprite. We're going to make it a vertical. Oops. Select this thing. Uh, so you can actually um, just turn it vertical. Like that. Okay. I know it's not perfect. Actually, just duplicate this. So then you already have an, uh, you already have a, uh, you already have like a vertical one. So there you got the two paddles. We'll also need the ball. Let's get the ball sprite. Let's go here, get the ball. You want to get the, this ball? Just going to get this one. And next, we're going to work on the ball code. So, one flag clicked. Actually, no. One, yeah, one flag clicked. So you want to set all the variables to zero. Set the player one score and set the player two score to zero. 
uh, set the size to 40% so it won't be too big. And we want it to go to 0, 0, the center position. And then we want it to point in direction of 45. So point in direction of 45. It's going to be like top right. So then we can and then we're going to broadcast a new message called start game. So we got start game. So when this receives start game, then we can um, execute all this code. So get a forever loop, move 10 steps, if on edge, bounce. That's the first part. And then you get it if it's touching the paddle one, if it's touching the paddle, the first paddle, not the second paddle. So if it's touching paddle, then we can start sound pop just make some sound sound effects, I guess. Turn. We we'll need to turn. So it'll turn a random degree, so it'll go different angles and directions. We can turn, pick random 170 to 190 degrees. So let's get that. Pick random 170 to 190 degrees. So let's... Uh, Duplicate this, put this under here. Instead of paddle, we'll do paddle two, and we'll start the pop. Turn this is all the same, and then we'll get another if then statement. If the um, x position is greater than two thirty, so that means if the x position is greater than like. 230, 230 is like right here. That means it touches the edge, I guess. So if the X position is greater than 230, then we will change the player's one score by one, go back to the zero, zero, go back to the middle, and wait three seconds, and we'll start it over again. We can duplicate this, put this under here, and instead of this, we will get the uh, less than symbol. So less than symbol, put that in here. If the x position is less than negative 230, so if it's less than this position, like negative 230 is right here, then we can change the player to score by one, go back to zero, zero, and wait three seconds. So i just scroll around to let you guys see. That's all the code we have for now. Obviously, it does nothing yet, except bounce around, I guess. Now we can work on the paddle code. So we can actually make the paddle a bit smaller, like 75% size. And same with the paddle, too. Let's make it 75% size. So we got the two paddles. Let's get coding on it. So when I receive start game, We'll get a forever loop. If on edge bounce. So you cannot go down here and hide down here. This is for player one, so we'll do W, the W key and the S key. So if the key W is pressed, which is the up, if the W key is pressed, then we can change the Y by eight. Change Y by eight. And we can duplicate this. If the S key is clicked, which is down, so when the S key is pressed, we'll go negative 8. And then we want to set the X and Y position. So I have the coordinates written down. We will do negative 200 and Y0. So it will be right here, about right here. That's negative 200, Y0. So then we'll get another if then statement. If the player one score is equal to seven, I'm doing seven score as the winning. You can do any number if you want. Uh, if the player one score is equal to seven, then we can broadcast a message called player one wins. Player one wins. 
And then for the paddle 2, it will be similar code. We'll just set the X and Y position to 200 X. So it will be in the Y0, so it will be somewhere right here. And then we can pretty much just drag this, drag and drop it into the paddle 2. So we'll get the same code. And then instead of W, it will be the up arrow key. And instead of the S, it will be the down arrow key. And instead of player 1 score, it will be player 2 score. Player 2 score. And we'll broadcast a new message called player 2 wins. Player 2 wins. And then we'll also make a new sprite. Paint a new sprite. We will make two costumes for it. I'm going to make this first one red. So I'm just going to type player one wins. Um, player one wins. Make it a bit bigger. A bit smaller, actually. So player one wins. I'm just going to duplicate this. We're, we're going to do it in the same sprite just two costumes and i'm gonna rename the costume to player one win just duplicate this and instead of player one win i'm just gonna name this to player two and then i'm just gonna double click on this i'm gonna make i'm gonna change the text to green to tell the difference so instead we're gonna write player two wins. So we have two costumes, player one and player two wins. Okay. So let's go to the code for it. So when flat clicked, we wanna to go to zero, zero. Go to the center and we wanna hide. So when it receives the uh, player one win, then we will show. Switch costume to player one win. Because the player one wins and we'll stop all. Just duplicate this for uh, player two wins. Just click player two wins. Change this to player two win. So that's all the code. Let's play it. So I'm playing by myself right now, so it's not that easy. So what happened to the paddle? So guys, I actually found out the bug. Set this to left and right so it won't flip. So as you could see, the paddle flipped to the le left a little. So just do this, left and right. So now it will not flip. Save your project. Now I'm gonna go full screen and show you guys. Oops. I'm playing by myself right now, so it's kind of hard. I'm playing at two screens at two two places at the same time. Uh, yeah. So let me just make one of the teams lose. And finally, it'll say player one wins, whichever team it uh, wins. So yeah, there you have it. A uh, two player ping pong game, let me rename it. Two player pong game, player pong game. So thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.